Hey guys, come see me on the road. If you already have tickets to Skankfest in Vegas, come see me there. If not, that baby's sold out. But next you can see me in Irvine, California, San Jose. I'll be in Michigan and Florida and many other places. Go to AnnieLetterman.com slash shows. You can also hear me on my audio show on Spotify Live. Don't bore me every Monday night. Check it out. It's on all my socials. And Annie Wood is coming soon. So follow Annie Letterman on YouTube. You guys, it's time to talk about female hair thinning. Over half of women will experience hair thinning in their lifetime. It's totally normal. Your hair story could help another woman. Join the conversation at shedthesilence.com. That's shedthesilence.com. Is Esther not coming in today? No, she's your Esther. Your Esther. Damn. Replacing a Jew with a Jew. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I feel I wasn't sure if you were Jewish and, and that hair texture was in your picture was giving me like well, vibes. <laughs> my dad, Pops, I almost called him daddy. That was weird. Uh, my dad <laughs> Pops is, is weird too. Pops, uh, my father. Pops sounds like you did bang, but like you want to put distance <laughs> between it. <laughs> there you I go. I never consider that. Do sons never call their dads daddy? Or when is that? What age is that? Uh, depends on the lights on or off. You kiss your dad in the mouth, dude. You love your dad. <laughs> yeah. yeah, up until I was like 17, family. you know, yeah. then I got my driver's permit. And I was like, the fuck away from me. I don't need to kiss you in the mouth anymore, dude. Yeah. Get off me, daddy. Yeah, daddy. <laughs> no, uh, dad, dad. That was probably so I was like 14. Dad, dad. Yeah, dad, dad. Wait, um, can we move this board this way a little bit? Got what is this? I um, topics when you start boring us. Yeah. This early? I'm not bored. I'm not bored at all. We're talking I'm about nipple piercings and my dad. Like, I feel like I should be wearing my sunglasses. I'm having such mm. a good time. Yeah. Is that when you know you're fucking, you're like on one? Well, I took Xanax. Could you tell I was on Xanax yesterday? No. I've been stressed out. Wow. I had like obviously a, not enough. I've had Fucking no, I know, pussy. but but then it's like my arms felt heavy for the rest of the day. I was like, I'm never taking. I was, I was. Wait, why I was, did you take it? Just because I'm stressed out because of my fucking cold. Oh, I just yeah. have had a cold and I just like, I don't know. I just was like. You didn't want to do like four seed in or... I just like, I don't know. I just like I'm not sleeping. I keep having dreams. I keep telling I'm having dreams where I can't run. My last one was I can't run. The week last week I couldn't scream. No, but the week before she <laughs> was like on a golf course in space. Like what was Oh, that? that was cool. You might have even been on it. Oh, no, it was a, a lot of comics. I was, yeah, it was there. I was, there was like a there was a slide. Was this a Burt Kreischer festival? But I was <laughs> <laughs> So maybe were you on the Burt? What? Did you get invited on the Burt festival? The next one? Did you get invited on the last one? No. Yeah, we'll be on the next one, guys. Are you Burt really? Just trying to get on. No, 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 Whatever, we will be. Dude. We will be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will. He was just trying to get out of the way, like the hacks, and he wanted to get like the real comics on the next one. So we'll be on that. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, no, we'll be on the Oh, next interesting. One. Okay, bring up topics. Now I'm bored. <laughs> now I'm bored. You know what? Are you bored or are you Bert? <laughs> you know? Whoa. Uh, no, Bert's great. I He's literally, it's, what he, whatever he's doing is great. Wherever the next event whatever is. Whatever he's doing is great. That sounds so rude. It's because I wasn't invited. There's passive aggressive tones. Why The next festival's at a goddamn Ikea. Let me do 12 minutes. Let me try to, Ikea, you can go on, but you could never leave. It's like Hotel California. Why did you look so seductively in the camera when you said that? Was that seductive? You're like, you can. I don't know my leave. sex levels. I don't know when I'm being sexy. Mm. Really? Do you have yeah, a, yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. Do you think being in the in the in the comedic brain sense is harder to flirt? I don't know. I'm so bad at it. I would just aggressively. I would like cartoonishly flirt with guys. Okay. I'd be like, so I don't know how two comics could flirt with each other. That it's awkward. Like it's a, it, it, real emotions. It's like a chess match. Yeah, it's not good. It's it, it turns into therapy quickly, you know, because <laughs> it's like five minutes like, oh, this is fun. This is great. Then you're like, I don't know. Sometimes I just look at my video views and they're down below. And I just feel like <laughs> I just, my mom my end is, used to like, yeah, you know, my grades aren't good enough. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I'm curious. So how both of you, I mean, how do you kind of. I don't know. I don't know. I, I just feel like. The, How do we flirt? No, I'm saying in because you're kind of coming at it from a, a creative or like comic perspective. I don't know. I just, I feel like I struggle with it because my goal is to like, not my goal, but what I'm used to is self-deprecating. Right, what I'm right, used right, to right. is being like, oh, well, I'm such a pussy. Oh, fuck like, me. You know? Hey, do you want to suck my work. tiny tits? The tiniest tits you've ever seen. Right? I think that I don't use words. Like you will know that I'm interested just based on like my. You did squish cues. those titties up a little bit, Trevor. She maybe flirting with you right now. <laughs> Damn! Damn. Both of you guys have pillows today. over your laps. So you guys I really, are, honestly, you guys are erect right I'm now. What's happening? I have like a. I have like a. It's a pleather fupa right now. So I. <laughs> the pee fupa. I could do this, but that's not comfortable. No, you look like the first lady. You, you really look like you're like, mourning the queen sometimes still. Sometimes people <laughs> tell me, sometimes people have like been like, you look like Hillary Clinton. And I'm like, fair. Hillary Clinton back in the day. Hot. And I'm going to say, 
You also look like Hillary Clinton. Wait, no, Hillary Clinton was no. it got hotter as she aged. Do we not look like really? young Hillary Clinton, the two of us? Yeah, you do. You look like Chelsea, both of you. No, that's Chelsea actually Handler? way ruder, honestly. <laughs> Chelsea Clinton. I honestly oh, think Chelsea, that- Oh, yep, never mind. <laughs> Hillary Clinton, that's, okay, well, that's too young. Do I look like uh, I'm uh, Let's age it up a little emails. bit. Wait, back to your question, though, about flirting. Yeah. I think what I'm saying, the content of what I'm saying, saying never changes. It's just my proximity to you. Okay. So if I'm flirting, let's say for if I'm not flirting, you'll I, feel her breath on your neck. Right. No, that's exactly it. Interesting. So it's like we could be talking COVID about, was rough for her. Like <laughs> nobody knew or artificial plants, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it'd be regular it's still regular conversation when I'm flirting. It's just real close. Like I inch closer and closer. Really? That's the only difference. Wow. I <laughs> you were just right here. Right being here. Like, <laughs> Trevor. <laughs> where did you get those jeans from? <laughs> yeah, that's fuck. <laughs> Damn. I... So everybody at a concert thinks that you're into them. Right, exactly. Yeah. Like, Why is bitch so fucking close? <laughs> Bring up concerts. Oh, Trevor and I have been to some pretty epic concerts together, what honestly. Concert? We did. We went to a Green Day Green concert. Green Day. That baby. fucking festival, when? Life is Beautiful in Vegas. Oh, in Vegas. So was oddly really fun. I know. It was so fun. And I, honestly, it made life wanna... is relatively attractive is how I felt about the audience. But e I had a lot of fun. Just kidding, and, and I think I took a page out of your book. And I just kind of had like, instead of being like, so like, I need these jokes to work. Blah, I need to wear jeans, shorts, you know, steam yeah. my t-shirt. I wore like short neon shorts and a pink cowboy hat. Yeah. And I felt good about it. Yeah. You and gotta, I, you, this is like, we're, who gives we're a mushrooms fuck? Fest. People are on mushrooms. They're on Molly. How do you about those music fest festivals that have comics? Like, is that always like a nightmare uh, like, uniformly? You would think this one was inside it was and oh, it, it was, was actually, it was inside. They actually did it, the, all the shows were like packed. It was actually good. And everybody did like 20 minutes, yeah. which is a perfect amount of comedy for somebody who's on ketamine. Right. You know, they're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Hey, let's, let's keep it going. You know? Everybody was like, we're, we're going to have like a pretty fun, fast, good show. And then yeah. we're all going to go get fucked up and watch Green Day. I didn't stay. I miss Billie Eilish. Sorry, bitch. Um, yeah. but I saw Ludacris. Did you go to Ludacris? I did. Ludacris you, was hilarious. You know, I just listened to the entire word of mouth album again, like three oh, weeks ago. He's, it's he's, a fucking masterpiece. He's great. But what was funny was seeing Ludacris in like 2022, because now he's like PC. He's yeah. like, where's all my fucking bitches at that are respectfully getting equal pay as <laughs> everyone? I swear to you. And he kept going, he kept going like, this song came out 20 years ago. I was like, don't say time. We're on mushrooms. No time. Yeah, There's no yeah, time. Right, right, right. Like we're all dying. No, we're like young. Now y'all are getting old. Did he sing area codes? Of course. Yes, but when he yeah. did, he goes, he, he was like, he's literally said, he's like, he's like, he's like, I've got hoes in respectful area code. Like he like, literally <laughs> like made it an effort to be like, I am PC Luda. Is that a cup of noodle? I'm going to try. I'm going to try to just eat. I've never really. Is that why you guys had to push the podcast 30 that, minutes who, today? I thought you pushed it. I thought you guys pushed I it. I did. I, um, I have a slap tear on my shoulder. Don't be what? cute about it. She got it from tear? a slap bracelet. She did it too yeah, high. No, yeah, Wait, is that the ones where you hit it and then it wraps around your hand? I love those things. <laughs> I miss those. Bring what those are back. Those are great. I, I love them. Or my, I just tore my shoulder. Damn. Yeah, she just ripped right off. Flirting too hard? What happened? No, she's <laughs> she, oh, single. Jesus Christ. <laughs> she's really single. Me. She's just... Uh, yeah, uh. being single is really tricky. Dude, well, okay. I am also... Uh, newly single. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. We don't like her anymore. No, she's still a great we person. We're on good love terms. Her. I talked great. to her yesterday. Wait, is this she's the one with the, with the um, the Range Rover? Yeah, the car. Yes, I remember. She had a nicer car than me. I just had to be like, we're done. What kind of car <laughs> did you drive in here? Oh, Tesla. I got a Tesla. You did? Yes. I did. Why? Uh, no, I got a three. Okay. What color? Black. With the white seats? White seats. I wish I had yeah, I got that. Was that an indicator I got that of things cream were pie, possibly baby. ending? What, when getting a Tesla? Tesla? <laughs> no. It is a different lifestyle. I literally had to order it like eight months ago. Oh, like right. It was relationship. You were on your way out of the relationship. No, things were going good. It's just, uh, you, it's just, oh, the fuck? It's so much with the schedule and it's like our times where she worked office hours and i was doing stuff right, right. and then stand up at night it's just it, we Did never she do videos with you no i could never i like i met her once so i'm always like is that her every time i see you with the video oh no 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 she didn't but um we're still in good terms i just you know we just yeah. maybe not right now maybe later but i, I like your tricky for my for me it's like bobby cannot stop showing me girls he's going on dates with interesting and it's like hey slow down a bit you know, but it's, it's he's always are they like, hot? What are they like, well, one of them so hilarious. He went on a date with a girl on Sunday and, are you and like apparently she was this? like, he, she didn't know who he was, yeah. but she was like, wait oh, a second, that. you look familiar. She's like, oh, um, I know your girlfriend. I'm a big fan of her show. So I felt like that was such a win for me. Oh, you're, so she didn't know who Bobby was, but she knew, yeah. she knew this me. show. 
She's so, like, Are, you remind me of a picture behind and, my favorite Yeah, 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 I think head. so. Yeah. <laughs> so she- Can we take turned, it down? No. All right, I tell me when you're ready it. and then let's take it down. No, I love him. I want to keep him close always. No, I'm happy. Right, that's how I feel in my relationship. Like, I still you love her as a person. Sick. I still want to like- Wait, we should set Bobby up with your ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm a fucking Yenta bitch. Is that not a great idea? Answer. By the way, I saw I saw guys. Bobby last night. He got that new car. That's yeah. a pus pussy wagon. <laughs> I know. I was because he went from the Prius to like a fucking like I nice know. ass car. Where you got to crunch, crunch, crunch when you get in. Yeah, I'm sure the car inside smells like Cheetos, but the, but the outside looks great. It's the first car he's actually truly taken care of. Is it still really? clean? Yeah, it's still clean. I was making a bet with him, but he walked away in the middle of the bet. What was the bet? It was just going to be like at a certain day. I was going to put it in my phone. If you're, he's like, no, I'm keeping this. I clean, but there's no way you're going to keep it clean. It, you are who you are. It's impossible. No, in no, one no, year, no, he's going to try. He isn't who he is. Like no longer. He he is no longer who he was for nine years. Like he is on medication now. Like things are working out because in his head. of. No, he's uh, he had untreated ADHD for so long, mm. so he never really had like the patience to kind of yeah. be through a task. Well, look, I feel that I'm but... treat. I've had treated ADD for a very long time. It's yeah, you're eating secret, a cup though. of noodle over pillows. Things are not going well. Uh, what I'm trying to say <laughs> this is, is the best I've been doing in months, buddy. <laughs> this is me. This but is I'm... me and my best well, baby. I'm peaking. No, you're doing great. But I am saying like. Like, and, and you, we live in the same part of town. When you have to drive like 45 minutes for spots, yes. it's like you're eating protein bars, there's five hour energies, there's yeah, iced yeah. coffees all over the car. It's like, you want to be clean, but then you just start having shows and your time schedule gets fucked up. Yep. And then you look back and you're like, why? There's a recycling plant in my back seat. <laughs> like, I got to fix My something. friend calls but, it the ball pit. She always comes in and kicks her feet around. Hilarious. Yeah. But in a pinch, <laughs> like when you there. need something, there's always something back there. Yeah, uh, like you yeah. need running shoes or nunchucks or just about. Sometimes it is like I'm like, do I have bo or did I leave a hoagie in the back seat? Like it is a like that hoagie. sometimes. Can like, you only get about? hoagies in Philadelphia? Well, I guess they're called subs. Listen, boys think they're better than us. They think they got more going on than us. They're not the only ones that have thinning hair. We ladies, this is feminism, baby, okay? We also have thinning hair. In fact, when I stopped taking birth control in my late 20s, all of a sudden, my hair started thinning in ways like I could have never imagined. Because I had a whole full head um, head of hair. And all, the, all, all of a sudden, it was like half of that. And every day, I would just see in the shower more thinning and more thinning and i don't think enough girls talk about it i know because it's always like oh it's a man's problem it's not it's not some of our hairlines <laughs> could use some help <laughs> some of our hairlines listen sometimes i spray like stuff colored stuff in my hair to uh, make it look like i'm not having thin hair <laughs> like i will go to great lengths to to hide it in pictures but i don't want to hide it in real life you know this is a real thing it's it's yeah. all good. It's not it's and it's not a big deal. It's something that we should all be talking about. And, you know, but it's something that's fixable, right? Like um for me hair is important for my self-esteem and how I view myself. I've always had very long hair. I've always had long mermaid hair. So when that started going away, I started to really panic. You guys, so let's talk about it. Your hair story could help another woman. Join the conversation at shedthesilence.com. That's shedthesilence.com. Now, where are you from? I'm from Illinois, but I grew up in Southern California. Okay, you are the Esther. Oh, but you grew up in- okay. She's Illinois? She's from, from Skokie. I don't know what that is. I think it's a suburb. Okay, I was born in Naperville, and then for two years, and then we we're like, my mom's like, fuck this. And fuck Naperville. Fuck Naperville. Wow. And then Southern California. Where? Camarillo. Camarillo, California. Oh, Camarillo. You know where that is? We yes, got outlets, all the baby. Way freaking out where the outlets are at. Yeah, we got them. <laughs> Camarillo. Um, what do you? What's there to do there? Outlets and beach. Well, what the was beach your? Was nice we there. had a donut shop too. What was your Dude, high school job? Uh, frozen yogurt. Which one? I was called Wild Cherry. And then did you do it for people or no? People do their own thing. You put the no. They would do it themselves, and then we still had the audacity to put a tip jar at the end. Mm. People would make their own fucking. And a guy asked me one time. He goes, "Do people people really tip you for this?" And I was like, "Yeah, man. Down, <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, I gotta buy books for school. But That's this the is thing you gotta say exactly. But this for my is my basketball team. <laughs> this is pre iPad days, so this was just when coins. <laughs> people would just like lob it in there, make a wish, and be like, here you fucking go. I actually don't have it in me to not tip when they just flip the iPad. 
Even I, I want to do a power move and flip it back to them. <laughs> <laughs> be like, two can play this game. And then just keep. <laughs> I actually just saw your video about the, tip, the tipping. The tip one. Thank you. I really I liked, I didn't say if I liked it or yeah, not, but no, I did I know, like it. I know, it's but you did say thank you, but I liked um, when. Is that a mood ring done. or a promise ring? What is that? This is a mood ring with my dad. So a promise ring. The first okay. time me and my dad fucked, we decided let's make it official. There you go. Um, <laughs> I'm in nice. a good mood, are you? Let's make it a fish. Tipping. So, um, I liked the part where you were in bed with a girl and you were like, she was like, what was that? A minute 35, you're like, a minute 36, I think it's a record. Yeah. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but we had a donut shop, and I've never talked to us, but we had a donut shop in Camarillo, and back in the day, girls would show their tits for free donuts. <gasps> Yeah, this is like, it was like 20. Those must have been some fat titties. Donuts are really. Well, funny right, if you get donut right holes, you're like, damn, bitch, I need to fucking plump up a little. But yeah, this was like 2010, 2011. And like, that was the thing. Rolling Wait, did you make them like catch them in their mouth, the holes? I don't know. I, I was I was always like in the back. Like, they didn't let me see all that. Well, how? Because um, the hair? Well, the varsity, the, gauges? the varsity bros would be like. Did you ever rocking. throw like a donut hole through the gauges into the This is pre gauge days. Okay. I thought about it. This is um depending on the rating of the titties, is how many donuts they were given. That's a good point. I think. I I think you aim high you'd be like let me get a baker's dozen and then they're like 14 dollars, and you're like <clears throat> and then you just flash oh, and they're like that. you were hoping you were just getting them free with 12. Yeah, yeah but then they stopped doing it but that was like the place we'd hang out that was like people would just get drunk there and hang out and at school. the that was like donut. the after party. was it a 24 hour donut shop it was up to like three or four mm, that is fun three or four in camarillo is like i mean that's that's an all-nighter in vegas hang. we would hang out at like uh where are you from like ihop philadelphia okay ihop the suburbs I hop, we'd hang out. I think they said I hob. I remember when they did that. I hob, yeah. Remember when they launched burgers? I hob. Oh, yeah. Idiots. Yes. Those yeah. idiots. All marketing. God, and it just we didn't remember work. it though. Marketing don't does work. It's great. Yeah, it worked. Still not going. Worked out. It was upsetting, but it's like Crystal Pepsi. Do we give a fuck? Wait, I miss what it. is Crystal Pepsi? Clear. Maybe you were still in the Phil's. Back in clear the Pepsi. I'm Philly. She's, oh, we're both Philly There's girls. Clear Whoa. Pepsi? Yeah, you've never seen this? You need to grow up, Kalila. <laughs> I've never seen this. Bitch, you don't know this? <laughs> I will tell you a really fucked up Pepsi story, though. Uh -oh. So um, I don't know if it was Pepsi. We're or sponsored Coca -Cola. by Coke. That's how we can do this. Um, oh. Um, but there, uh, once upon a time, sometime in like the early 90s, Pepsi did this um, thing where it's like you would flip the, what do you call it? Like under the the cap would be like a prize, like a certain amount. Like you win. So oh, like oh. Apple, yeah. But yeah, they yeah. had a misprint and this happened in the Philippines. Oh, no. And um, like, I think it was like, 300 people won the million dollar prize or something like Damn. that. And so they 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 assumed like their life had changed, but when they went to go and like retrieve the money or like present the cap with a winning thing, they were like, oh yeah, that was a misprint, sorry. No, no, no. Can you pull that up? It's like the Pepsi. No, 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 um, no, no. I think this is just marketing. But then know? Pepsi never paid anyone anything. Did Good. You know of the Fuck them. How many people are in the Philippines? Like five, six? But this is like an <laughs> impoverished country, right? And here but you're It's all marketing like, because think about the engagement. If I win a million dollars, I'm going to post that Pepsi can on my Instagram and be like, I'm fucking rich. Fuck everyone. I'm just promoting for free. That's free marketing. Okay. So it's so a 300, Number 349 fever. incident. I don't know about that. So in, in 90, 1992, Pepsi Philippines announced that they would print Wait. numbers. And then how many Dude, people Dude, this won? led to five deaths. You said five, uh, right? Five awesome. deaths? Like how do you, what happened? People just won it and they're like, fuck yeah. And they're just endorphins killed them. Increased Pepsi's monthly Or they killed sales. each other for the cap. Whoa. That's so fucking sad. Oh, you know, another thing. Um, our podcast predicts either if people get together the next week or deaths like Ray right. Liotta, we R.I.P. Kill people. Or her ex boyfriend or her ex guy, the, the guy that fingered her on the airplane. airplane. He died. He died. So really? we have to I be careful out. about from getting fingered on an airplane. His fate, he rotted finger first. <laughs> Wait, did he actually die? <laughs> yeah, he yeah. Died. We found out here on the show. As I we was like, pull up a picture him. of him because he was in a cover band. So I was like, pull up a picture because he's like, he was hot, but it was like funny hot. He was All like right. cheesy hot. Cover band hot. So I was like, pull him up. And they're like, this is his obituary. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, no. Really Did sad. you feel any sadness in that? Yes. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, I laughed. They have but 4K I cameras recording your facial reactions. Be like, your ex just died. And you're like, this next ad is brought ex, to you by Blue Chew. He was a nice guy. He was a really nice guy. We had stayed friends for a while. He was a good guy. On Tiger Belly, we had this whole bit about Bed Bath and Beyond and what Bobby thought was like what he considered beyond items. And then the next week, the like the CFO jumped off like oh, a yeah. story building. So I'm like, we the should beyond. <laughs> oh. 
It's a good. Did they Leon. put his pillows down? Was it a test? They put the pillows down to see if they were good. It's my favorite Leon Bridges song, Beyond. Beyond. He's a great singer. I only know one song, but I don't remember what it is. But I remember liking it. He's really good. Um. So, so yeah, I think that God, he's soulful. Is that what you're gonna say? No, I don't know. <laughs> I that's crazy. Soulful, love it. Um, what are we predicting now? Uh, well, I brought up Ray Liotta and he died literally the next day. Oh, and no. then we brought up Brad Pitt and- Bring up me getting some bitches. Emily yeah. Ratajkowski and then they <laughs> got together. Trevor's gonna have to take time off from comedy because he needs a break because he's getting so much pussy. Too many what women. What kind of girls are you into? I like dark hair, brunette. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Thanks for like looking. It felt good. <laughs> I, mean, I don't want to like, lock eyes with Kyla because then, know, then the good. comments will be like, uh, "Is Trevor and Kyla trying to be a thing?" <laughs> so I was, I was kind of looking more at the plant. <laughs> if you and I had, if you and I, I know out, we have wide eyes, so sometimes you can't tell. I can say, if we, you and I put out a sex tape on OnlyFans right now, how much do you think we'd make? Oh my god! Oh my. <laughs> Let's just say this podcast you guys take Xanax for and do it. You don't have to do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the brand deals with baby. I mean, dude, you put one fucking manscaped ad in that thing. We're talking probably four mil. Honestly, four mil. Call crypto.com right <laughs> now. Crypto probably four mil. <laughs> guys, did you see Pete Davidson's new Manscaped video? No. Yeah, he's like he's like the face of it. They don't care about us anymore. They got Pete Davidson. He's the balls of Manscaped. Oh, no. Hey. How much money do they have to? So much money. I, I'm telling you, so much money. This is Dude, Manscaped is all over again. All the UFC fights I watch. Well, I wish they were around when I was fucking. But like to even have because Pete there were bushes in my face. Hold up. <laughs> A lot of bushes. Yeah, the amount of money they had to pay him for this. Yeah. Uh, easy a mil. Easy. No, more than that. Pete's Probably, like. Probably, yeah, actually. Yeah. Will you find out? Bryce, but, like, call him up. Because <laughs> I saw it was during the Kim days. I, I couldn't imagine him like leaving Kim Kardashian's side to be like, I got to go film this Manscaped day. And isn't he getting, isn't um, Kris Jenner his manager, wasn't she, for a second? Oh, I would, that would not Will you surprise Google? me at all. If Kris Jenner. I think it's so manager. interesting when people have like family members as managers. They're like the momager. You're but right. it's yeah. weird when it's like your, your girlfriend's mom. I, I mean, right. But also it's Kris Jenner, I'd take it. But it's also like a nice way of keeping the wealth in the family. Okay. I could see yeah. that, but it is also interesting. It's like your dad used to do like sales. Well, especially you know. if it's like someone like Chris Jenner who is very much involved in like the, the the sale of the sex tape. That's a little weird, you know. Right. So you're like, mm. yeah, okay. Looks like it's just rumors. Okay, just rumors. We don't support rumors. Yeah. We yeah. We're all podcast. about real news. We're about the truth. None of this fake news <laughs> stuff. Uh What do we so have on the thing here? Voting for Trump or what? You know, I'm really, yeah. I'm just voting for whoever has the greatest vibes, you know? I just like it. I like it. I go on ass, honestly. I go. You go on what? Who's ass? got the best ass? Oh, best ass. Yeah. Trump has a fucking wagon. There's some photos of him golfing. He's got, got hips. Dunk. There's some photos of him golfing. And I mean, it's, he got the BBL. <laughs> um, have you seen this woman who um, is alleging that she orgasmed while she was giving birth to her baby? Oh, God. And that she was in a state of. Imagine he had seen that video. Imagine that was like on your thing. I have. That was like on your. Uh, well, like, rhythm. how would you feel if you later find out that as your mom was birthing you, she, she was also all over you. really hard. She was coming on you. <sighs> is that a psychological? That's a coming that of age story. Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, honestly more interested in what's going on with you that yeah. you got to this article. I, well, orgasmic my, birth is not like a new. Is thing. my TikTok algorithm I, is really fucking strange. Here's the thing. I, when I see pregnant things, though, I do go. I click. I go. Who's pregnant? Uh oh, manifesting this show. It's not a fupa, guys. It's a fupa. <laughs> I take a shit. Um, I do think that that it's like, what are you gonna do? You can't control the body. It's not like she wanted to do that. But, but she's no, one she of did. those. Yeah. Oh fuck my! They bad. do hypnobirth. Yes, yes. So she was Wait, one really? of those. Yeah. What does that mean? I'm so I'm new those, to this. Like um, they like they rub her nipples when she's giving birth. <laughs> You know, that's what hypnosis. I study hypnosis, guys. You just rub, rub, rub. Out. I'm curious what happened. There's, there's, there's a, you know, some women who really like to go a different route um, during their birth. Their birth plans look a little bit different. Right. So they're into, you know, meditative stuff like hypnosis stuff, and I guess everything that she had done leading up to the actual point of labor. Um, was done so that she would experience this euphoria. So there, it's premeditated. Like oh, her wow. coming on her baby is premeditated. So I want to know how you would feel if she's a squirter. <laughs> if your mom what squirted if you on that your head. squirting was just like water breaking the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! I, uh, I 
<laughs> but also you have to carry a baby for nine months. But let me let me get a say, nut off. Let's suppose your mom is telling all of her friends <laughs> that yeah, you know, when I birthed Trevor, when I pushed is him that out, why all I these was kids coming have, so hard. Is that why all these kids have nut allergies? I was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's starting to make sense. Yeah. I would honestly be I would take that as an insult because I'd be like, oh my, I must have been a big baby. Cause if yeah. I'm a fat baby, you're pushing, you're pushing, you're pushing, and you finally get that ah. Uh, Release? <laughs> if like, uh, use that as a soundbite, well, please, someone. Well, basically, uh? you made your mom come. I so. mean, it wouldn't be the first time. So. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been the first time. Where's your mood oh, ring? Come on. No, that would have been, <laughs> been actually the Damn first time. Damn it. You got to call me out like that. Um, I, I, it's weird that wouldn't she didn't premeditate time. it. There it is. Can we edit that back together? We don't want yeah, to look back. Yeah, okay, that wouldn't. Bop, 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 bop. Three, okay. two, one. Wouldn't be last time. <laughs> laugh track. Um, I, the premeditated part is weird. If you just did it to do it, then you're like, whoa, that felt amazing. Let, knock me up again. But I feel like we might have talked about this on your podcast, but I can't remember. You did leave the Green Day concert without saying goodbye to me and Todd. And I I, I do want to get to the bottom. Because it, it wasn't like a... It wasn't like a um, did I? But here's the thing. It wasn't like a... I realized later you weren't there. It was like, I was like, Trev! And you weren't there. Like, it was like, <laughs> oh, hey, no. Trev! And, uh, and you guys oh, were no. all gone. Were I'm you so high, sorry. drunk? I was drunk. Okay. I okay. was I was off the alcohol. Or were you done? Were you just like, Annie, enough. You're talking through Green Day. <laughs> <laughs> no, I... I it was I on like, <laughs> take this lonely path. And I was like, hey, Trev, was this a year graduate? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's my bad. I kind of just... <laughs> but I mean, like... Who sometimes you're just at a festival and your mind is just like you should go see if they're still selling churros. Like you don't really yeah, have. Yeah, you did have 45 like people with you too. You had a you had a. Nice I had a little entourage. It was cool. I, that's the coolest I've ever felt. Doing festivals and events it like that, you do thing. feel cool. Well, like, I keep like, saying, pals. I do feel like if it hadn't been, and people have like accused me of being too like delusional, but I'm like this delusion will make me friends with Billy Joe. So I just thought if it wasn't COVID, we would have been able to just be hanging out with Green Day. Well, I think we did leave to go see if we can get we backstage. We went there, yeah. He oh, was that crazy. what you, I are you on? Yeah. He sends us coffee all the time. Apparently, he has to, he, he has a, a coffee company called Oakland, and we get he just Billy Joe coffee, coffee all the time. Really? Yeah, and at Guitar Picks. It's really cute. Is wow. this kind of rude? I know. I'm so sorry that you guys like kind of don't bragging, have that like, relationship. I know. We were like, if it wasn't COVID, we would have died to meet him. Yeah. <laughs> like, he sends me He's actually, I'm rose. always like sending him back. But send back yeah. to sender. Ew. Allegedly, it's a coffee thing. We don't open it. We throw it away. Please. And the guitar pick. Don't forget. The guitar pick is what's Is Damn. that how you open special. the coffee? Like, With the <laughs> <laughs> um, Yeah. I think we had like backstage passes. Yes. So we're like, oh, we're a part of the band. They're like, we're here. No, like th <laughs> this ends here. You should have seen Mount Ship Rocked. That's what you got to get on. It's a it's a heavy metal cruise, and Big J Ogerson does a comedy show on it. Really? I won. It was Seven Dust. It was uh, Hoobastank. Hoobastank. Was on it. Damn. I hate to say this, but the Seven Dust guy is like a friend of mine. Also <laughs> sends him. you coffee. Well, my right? joke was, listen, my joke on it was, well, I he was very nice to me. I go, oh, hold on. I go, why are there only two black guys on this whole cruise, and both of them are the lead singer of Seven Dust? That was one of my jokes. Is it the black guy or not? He's a black guy. He's I thought you were like, following each when other you very... looked nervous, I went, oh, she don't know. Uh-oh. No, no, no. I do know. Um, I think his name is... Um, He's the LeJong, Darius LeJong. Rucker of uh, Heavy Metal. Yeah. <laughs> what, what song do they sing? I, I I know the name. I don't know. Is there one that yeah, like, everybody knows? what song do they um, Uh-oh. I'm not sure. On the spot. I'm not sure. There's uh, one unfollow super her. popular one. Unfollow her. Do not unfollow me. Unfollow her. So you're everything. We love you. So what? Where does this? I picture them. Where does this cruise take you to? It Tampa. Took us to where Cabo. does it go? There's Cabo. no way a heavy metal cruise went to Cabo. Wait, were you performing? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Performance of my lifetime. Bombed. And totally crazy. That's why I'm friends it? with uh, Papa Roach. My set really? was so bad that it was like we became friends. <laughs> I see. I can hang out. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah mine's, oh, guys, I got a little one. Mine's still green. What does that mean? How do you guys open your banana? That means you're rich. Let's show me show oh, me. Oh, you're gonna do, do the monkey thing? Uh, what's the monkey one? Where you're like, this is how they the really do way. it with the bottom. Oh no, somebody showed me that you, you can just bust the top. Do you want to see how I do it? Or you can do the bottom. The top is how apes do it. I do this. You rip some of your <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god i mean todd couldn't be a luckier man i mean he's at home watching this being like that's my fucking girl <laughs> oh my you god watch you, it for me sometimes. you split the banana in half oh my god this is if you don't if you come uncircumcised you leave circumcised <laughs> <laughs> damn 
Oh, this is a, a has he ever one. has he ever said anything like you know I was a little much. You should, you should probably <laughs> cut that. I, I, I think it'd be hilarious if a, if a guy said that to you. You're like, you're trying to tell me how to do my show. No, he. Um, oh, like I'm being. No, I had a boyfriend once that. It's like I don't want you talking. About I had this me. moment in the middle of the night where I woke up panicking, and I I had a vision of what it would be like to be sitting in a coffee shop when I walk into it, and I went, "Oh my god, everyone must think I'm crazy. I'm like so loud and annoying." Like I just never had thought about what I looked like through other people's eyes. Mm. So I like I like you know startled awake, and my boyfriend like kind of like woke up, and I was like, "Babe, am I too much?" <laughs> and he went, "You're a lot." <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, it hadn't occurred to me that I was like a psycho. <laughs> you're a lot. That's like a nice way of kind of agreeing, but also being like, yeah, you a little bit, you know? I had this girlfriend break up with me. Hold and, up. And Friendship she like, break? She breaks up with all of her friends. She's mm -hmm. a psycho. But um, she, like, my, she was like hanging out with one of my other friends. And she was like, she's a lot. <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs> do you yeah, think no people, shit, bitch. This is fun. Do you think that's how people describe you to their other friends? Like, let's say you're joining a group of friends that you don't really know and you're showing up like, she's, um, she means well. Mm -hmm. She's like a lot, but she's fun. Mm -hmm. I wonder what people say about me. What do, what do you think people say about you guys? This guy, he looks like Annie Letterman. You may know her. She's the girl that's a lot. Why did you say that? Like, you're bringing me up at the comedy store. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like Annie Letterman. But I'm just wondering if people are like, yeah, like, he drinks, but he's fun. He's a good hang. He's fun. I, um, I like to... I just uh, linked my friend up with another friend of mine, and the way I described her as like, good no? energy. No, I think he needed he needed a date to some function. Mm -hmm. They both have like casual. So just, oh, nice. It wasn't like a sexual like link up or anything like that. But I called mm -hmm. her like Networking I accidentally called her like a good time girl. But that's really how I feel inside. I'm like she's such a good time. But I called her a good time girl, and he was like, Kyla, like that. I don't know what you mean by that. But I'm like, yeah, time. she's a good time girl. I get that. Um, but it sounded really sexual and I felt immediately bad. I'm like, oh, I might well, have misrepresented up, her. <laughs> it's weird to hook up two friends and not think that there might be some sexual chemistry. That's right. like there's Bumble BFFs. Shut up. Go fuck. Oh, you know? I'm so disgusted. Wait, what is that? Just friends on like Ryan. You swipe to hang out with people. Oh. This is no. Lonely. Yes, that's what I hear on Go Ryan. to Pilates. It's like uh, you have the option to just be friends. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah. I guess, but it's like, I think that. But that's like networking then. Who the, what, what's but the it's difference? like you're scared. You're afraid to put yourself I, out I, there. I feel like people do that because it's less intimidating, but they're like, yeah, we're just boys. And then they like slowly, but that's crazy. You have some banana on your lip. Oh, <laughs> let me lick it off. So I've been seeing these um, like, uh, women groups where they're, they're like, if you don't have like a friend group, you can join this trip. Everyone's going to Spain for 10 days and nightmare. it's like no one you know. No, huh. no. It's, that sounds like a fucking nightmare no. for me. It, I think you would probably find like one or two other people on there you enjoy, but the rest are like, fuck. You would people. have to find one person who also dislikes the same people you dislike. Right. Right. That would be the only way to talk shit, and that's how you would probably bond. Like, look at this fucking try. But the girl that friend dumped me—that's how we became friends. Is we talk shit on all the same people, and I—and mm -hmm. it was like I should have known. Well, it's a commonality because mm -hmm. it would happen. But I knew yes. it would happen to me. Yeah, there was a revolving target. I'm, Eventually, the the barrel was going to be staring me down. But but now you have a big platform, and you can talk shit about her, and then other people who know her that listen will be like, I agree. Does mm -hmm. she have a platform too? Not a very big one. No. <laughs> Damn. So stuck with you me, win. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Fuck around. No, I like that. How did I? I I've never ended a friendship and told somebody. Like you just stopped talking. Did oh you yeah. I, well, she she was like mad. At, this is another thing that's annoying. I hate when like because every time I've been friend dumped like three times and there's always what one was in high school. You got to be a, try being a girl. Um, I am. One was in high school. <laughs> Um and she was like we grew apart and I was like okay. but she announced but she was like yeah why just stop talking to me you know yeah well, I like she was like my best friend so I was like I was active oh best friends her. interesting I was I and mean, she and it was funny because we had all these friends in high school these mutual friends and um so she went off to college she was like a year ahead of me she went off to college she wrote me this letter I wish I still had it it was just about how much she loved me how amazing I was like. How she she's like I feel like I'm writing your eulogy. You're just like so incredible. I love the way you're just yourself all the time. You're but like crazy in public. There was a but. No, no, no. It was all like you're incredible. Yeah. Then she went to college, <laughs> and she became like an, <laughs> a hipster. Like Where she, she started to, to become. She went to University of Michigan, and huh. she became like she started hanging out with people that were like. Tuh. And I'm not. If you go to, I'm not for you. 
Mm. Like the people that are like, mm-hmm, like expecting something from yeah. you, I'm not the one. If you just make just letter noises, not for you. <laughs> You're like, tub, <laughs> bu- mm. <laughs> what? <laughs> if you like read and think that's cool, I'm but that, 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 when, <laughs> when people go off to college and come back and change, that checks out. That makes yeah. sense. Dude, I went to uh, college for a semester, was in a frat, came back. Everybody who stayed in my hometown, I was like, you guys don't matter to me. You guys don't know how to beer bong natty ice at 4 a.m <laughs> i know to now, beer bong I, natty ice do you oh my god yeah natty ice was my only thing i'm part of like i did the century club i did yeah. all of that in college or just for fun um, in college, me. yeah in college yeah, because yeah. i mean it, in college you wanted to be picked all yes the time. of course so it's like, why wouldn't you black out from natty but, ice? but okay. i didn't know how to be pick me like so i would just like dr- like i just they just thought i was a lesbian like i would just be like come on bros like i'd be like you know like i'm like one of <laughs> you i'd be wearing funny. like the white hat like, there's like a, a <laughs> slight like, line i mean yeah. i told you this like i was such a pick me like, i mean why don't none of my friends want to fuck me <laughs> i act i mean i would watch like mma fights and boxing and be really really oh, like wow. into it yeah. that i accidentally like ended up loving it you know like pete put it in your ass and let's see what happens <laughs> should i you have oh a pete ball? you're really growing on no, me. that was no, cute I can't, I can't i won't put it Wait, in. yeah i, I can't do yes that there's ask. already something in there <laughs> 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 it'll kill the gerbil <laughs> we don't want to drown that guy but um some about just coming back where you're like i am better than you guys and, well and people then, that don't leave their hometown like god bless you but if you are one of the people that does leave and you come back and the people haven't left are like you're not striving. You're not striving. For uh, not. There's not a lot to talk about. You go, how is everything? You go, well, I just had my fourth kid. And you're like, cool. Oh, my God. So many kids. Yeah. Oh, kids. But oh. I feel like that is an indicator of maybe a friendship that re- really never was. Because okay. um, my childhood friends, like when I see them, no matter how different our lives are, there's like kind of like a quiet nostalgia that of like just being around them. Like we don't have to catch up. We don't have we don't care where we're at in our lives. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 We're just going to hang out in silence because like we always did as friends. Like there's no expectation Look, of anything. My best friend uh, was my neighbor. He has two daughters. He's a uh, he he does like kitchens. <laughs> like, <laughs> I talk like remodeling. Or? Yeah, he's just, like a kitchen yeah, guy. OK. Yeah. No, he just does, does tiles and stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's got rough hands. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Who? Oh, he wanted me to hook him up with Stella. Oh, of course. He's like, I is mean, this that's my every... future girlfriend? I was like, no, she has a boyfriend. That's every DM I've gotten this week. Stella yeah. Barry. Oh, she was on our podcast. Yeah. yeah, she did. Stretchy butthole. She's like, I just have a stretchy butthole. That's so funny to be her reasoning. No, I remember she says. She's like, about I just have a stretchy butthole. She's like, once you get past the first ring of the anal glands, it just kind of just goes. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking iCloud? What do you mean? <laughs> but yeah, she, I mean, I was fascinated. Anal August. I just had dinner <laughs> with her. I just had dinner with her. That's why you guys broke up? Two days yeah. ago. You had dinner with her? Yeah, because she did our show and then she right. did Tiger Belly and we all went out to eat and stuff. But she really just is like so like fascinating because she's so normal. She's like, very smart. She's really smart. But then she went from growing up in Montana and then doing high school in London. So she has like Culture, so much like yeah. weird life experience for being so young. What did she eat? Was she worried about anything? Dude, she didn't give a fuck. Doo-doo? I handed her everything. She didn't even ask. Yeah, like I was concerned. I was concerned hungry. about that too. Like you have to worry about what you eat, and then she was like, got some whole philosophical Very bland. thing. I'd be she's like, like, I'm eating rice cakes and rice cakes we, only. We eat Korean food, and uh-huh. she didn't know what anything was on the table, but she gobbled it up, and I was like, yeah, that's my kind of girl. Was well, her boyfriend in town? Um, yeah, but he didn't come to dinner. It was just her, me, and a couple other. Friends. Okay, because I was yeah. gonna say maybe her boyfriend's out of town, her asshole's on a smoke hey. break. <laughs> Who knows? No, but earlier that day, she said that she just did an anal bead video. So no, she she was like, I, I had a question about her lifestyle and she goes oh well i can just show you and then she holds her phone and it's just you a saw video but in real life i've seen it video she showed me she should and the dude that she's dating was just in it it like it, it literally looked like ring footage like the, the camera <laughs> was just like from a distance and i was like oh oh, oh for sure Brown ring footage i hate to yeah. tell you guys this it's another green day coffee moment but she showed me her asshole and it was like this close to my face i know i was the actual guy. why was it not in her real life? Yeah. like not camera but real ass yeah and then she like asked to see like my pussy and i showed her like my full blast pussy yeah and she was like, oh, kind That's of. Like, in this room? Not here. Like, I, hanging out outside of here. Oh, did you guys, like, no. do anything? <laughs> oh, my God. Your face is getting red. This is hot. <laughs> your face what is getting talking? red. He's got yeah. his crossed. No, but we both, pillow. we both <laughs> determined that we would definitely have sex with each other. When? 
<laughs> what? He's pushing. What's the, the website? <laughs> yeah, fuck Tiger Belly. Just do that. No, I love Tiger Belly. No, I fuck it. Tiger Belly. Yeah. Just come. No, just, belly. just just do it. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I mean Tiger Patreon. What are we talking about? Patreon. Put it on Patreon. Put it on a paywall. I hope the camera only gets the top of your hair. <laughs> oh yeah, that has, like, that has like three inches on that bitch right there. Um, wow, we had a very different podcast experience with her. She came by. Was very wholesome. Did an hour and a half. Showed me a video and then left. Wow, that's still pretty. Didn't good. show us anything, which is fine. Right, I, did, I didn't want to. Did was... she have her feet exposed for Blau? No, she did not. Are I... you both foot fetish guys? Or no, 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 no. I'm normal. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah you no, know, no. it's like someone only Michael you. is right. But yeah, loves the feet. I have so many questions for him. I really, really do. But come on the podcast. Okay, that's because Annie, like right. Annie has coined the term "feet and greet." Feet and greet, yeah. and um, funny. you know she's preserved her feet. She always pixelates her feet, and I yeah. think there $1 really $1 is like yeah, one million. I think that's a price. And what do they get with that? One picture of my feet. Standard checks out. I would pay that. <laughs> 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 but is there tears to it? Like two million, you get to you get a used Nike sock. No, but that's a good idea. <laughs> just throw it out there. Someone You're so good at business. You know, that's what it's all about. <laughs> you gotta just level up. Because someone you like I know it's like jokingly like a million, but there's some guy right now in Kuwait being like Of course. Fuck. Yeah. They're like, Should I do this? <laughs> Should I? <laughs> Blockchain's booming, you know? <laughs> I I mean, I don't know. Well, you know what's also funny is that girls get taxed on their OnlyFans money. That's the government be like, let me get some of that pussy money. Yes. Let me get some of that pussy payment. <laughs> Still eating the noodles. I mean, we're on minute 47 here. Those aren't warm at all. I'm trying to bet. Really? They do look so good. Great though. insulation in there. You got to try chapaghetti. Chapaghetti is the best. What is that? It sounds warm. <laughs> Chop chapaghetti rhymes spaghetti? It, Chopped it, up spaghetti. Yeah, Chopped so spaghetti. it's basically... Chopped, it sounds delicious. Have you ever had spaghetti and it accidentally chokes you? Never again. <laughs> Enjoy some chapaschetti. <laughs> chapaschetti. <laughs> Why did you say that like it was an ad deal right there? Enjoy chapaschetti. Chapaschetti is what? like- a I'm business minded. It's like a True. bean paste with like noodles. Mm -hmm. It's like Asian, obviously, mm -hmm. but you know, they just call it chapaschetti. It's like jajangmyeon, but- Oh, that clears It's really up. good. If you look at the picture of it, it's it's It comes with a- yeah. tasty, like that. Like oh. Like Kapo delivers it to you. Yeah, jajang. By gun. Oh, oh that's really good. good. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, Same brand. Welcome. I want some ramen. That sounds great right now. Oh, yeah, I just had but also ramen in like 100 degree weather is insane. Is it 100 is degrees it? out? I'll, it's warm. But okay. if you're sitting outside, you're eating, you're sweating. You're, uh, I'm like weather blind. Unless something horrific happens to me, like I don't know. Like if I go to the car and I come back in and Todd's like, is it like cold or hot out? I'm like, I have no clue. I like don't. I'm weather blind. <laughs> Also, it's California. You'll be fine with yeah, whatever you well, wear. Well, that's also because you and I sweat not according to the weather. But yeah, like I'm always how we in. Feel. It's like always we're our right own there. like th gauge because mm -hmm. her and I like are pit sweaters, like excessive pit sweaters. Need the pillow? <laughs> no, dude, I think you need the pillow. <laughs> and so it doesn't matter if it's like in the dead cold in the Arctic. I'm My still pudding? if I'm feeling some type of way or nervous, forget it. It's like a whole pit stain. Really? I'm yeah. in fighter, constant fight or flight. If I'm relaxed in like equatorial weather, I wouldn't sweat a drip. So it's like, yeah, you're your own weather. weather. Guys, you'll never hear me saying equatorial. <laughs> the I only could. time I sweat is when someone's like, how do you spell equatorial? <laughs> yeah. Q, I, I got nothing. <laughs> Do you think you'd be good at a spelling bee? No. Okay. Let's try. Math bee? Maybe. You ever play Nerdle? What's Nerdle? Mm -hmm. Nerdle. It's instead of Wordle, it's math problem. Oh, shit. Oh, but like SAT math. ones or just like 28 divided no, by three? Like daily. Like. Oh, it's like mental math. It's fun. From oh, grade. yeah. This is too much. This go, is Pete, go. They're running succession like, ads on trying. this. Like, look Jesus at Pete's face. Christ. Yeah, what the fuck is this? You have to just start? guess what the equation is. Oh, you just, and what then you, you have mean? to solve it's like it? Sudoku? But it has to be the right, no. What the hell is happening? What is this, a calculator? This is bullshit. Just pressing random numbers here. Uh, I'm not even doing... not... Oh, okay, yeah. This makes sense. It's just with numbers. It's not oh, math. It's no, just it's numbers. Math. Nope, it's math. It has to be an equation that works. What is the fucking QR code? So do like 12 plus... Wait, wait. That guess does not compute, Pete. You have to do like doing. 12. You have, you have to, to do like 12 plus. This is dumb. You play this? Six equals. My dad uh, does. Oh, I see. I see. My 81 year old dad, 81 year old dad crushes this. Uh, is your dad retired, right? 
I thought you were going to say <laughs> something else. Work. Well, I don't know. My dad's newly <laughs> retired, and he just sends me just memes, photos, articles, been everything. Since I was fifteen. Really? Yeah. Wow. Now he, he sold his feet pics, huh? Yeah. Well, he retired. He had he was offered early retirement, and he got like a good deal. He used to work at Penn. They got like a new president, and they wanted all new staff, so they were giving people like good. Early Do you guys retirement. think you'll work forever? Or are you always going to work? Oh, forever? that is a good question. Someone asked me that. They said. How much money would you have to make to just walk away from stand up? Oh, wow. 20 mil. That's it? Yeah. I, I thought feel like you were you'd richer than really that. Uh, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. Because I think you just get bored. If, like, I think you always want to do stand up, right? Mm -hmm. I think you probably will give up stand up, but find some other creative way to still express comedy. Like how George Bush paints pictures now? Yeah. Of Does the he? victims of the war. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. Or of dogs. I can't remember. It's either dogs or the victims of war. His friends. <laughs> Michelle Obama. George, he does. George Bush does paintings now. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're not bad. What Look the fuck? <laughs> what? So funny. This is the last memory I have of him <laughs> is painting, not doing nine eleven. I would rather the painting. Look at him. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I used to get bored. That's uh, you know that's why everybody who like wins the lottery goes bankrupt in like a year. Yeah. They're like, I did it all. I'm bored. Give me back at fucking H and R Block. Are there mm -hmm. any um, big time lottery winners with um, happy endings? It's not happy. Uh, like, there's maybe like one or, or like that know how to do it. That was I saw some article. Be on Asian it. and say that. <laughs> hey, that yeah. was a real fuck up. Most of them blow it all quickly. I don't think anybody wins a lottery and they're like, we should invest. I like, except Brenton Biddlecombe. Do we know who he is? He's like, I do, yeah. 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 He won the lottery? He didn't. He won fantasy, uh, fantasy football. He won a million dollars. And then he won $100,000 the next time. And he in immediately invested all of it. But he's wow. not like, he's not someone that's like, this scratch off ticket's going to change my life. You know? I am such an anxious person yeah. that if something like that, back to back, like two good things happen to me back to back. You're like, to I'm back, about to die. I'm, yeah, I'm about to oh, die. I'm looking around some. the corner for something because I'm too anxious well, I feel to like enjoy it. When I, I've, but I also think maybe like, maybe he'll run out of luck afterwards. Maybe he gets one more lucky moment. Or but, maybe yeah. life is good for him for the rest of the time he's on here. Well, I believe, yeah, he's married. He's got a cute dog. He's like, also he's one of the nicest people Yeah, ever, he's really nice. So I feel like maybe, you know. But he, God, he okay, so um, what was I going to say? How much would it take for you to just stop doing it? I don't think I would ever stop doing it. That's kind of where I'm at. I, I, just, I love it. I enjoy it. I've always liked doing it. I did it when I was like broke as shit. It's like sweet. I'm making money from it now, but I never was before. No, I, st I enjoy it. It's. Yeah. It's, yeah. I don't think. But we have, you have to make sure it's still relatable. Right. Relatable. Right, right, right. That must have been weird the first time Rogan did a show after that Spotify deal. He's like, Ugh, you ever just get a can of beans? They're like, no. <laughs> Talk about the $100 million you have sitting in your bank account right, right now. now. Talk about it. What is the dumbest thing you've spent money on? I remember when I, I really thought I was on. I, I made these shirts that ended up getting cease and assist from White Claw. I made this video <laughs> about White Claw and I sold these t-shirts that had a quote on it. And uh, uh, they in in two days, they sold 7,000 t-shirts. So we're, we're talking, <laughs> your boy was up, but it was a pre-order. I didn't end up getting a dollar from it, right? No. Because the company sent their legal team was like, you have to return all these t-shirts or else we're going to hit you with here, 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 and here, right? So ended up having to return it, right? Didn't make a dollar. Um, How much would that have translated into? Like 100K. Yeah. Like, but, but I was like 25 at the time. I would have yeah. been like, pff, so, but when I saw all these orders coming in, I think I ordered like a $125 meal from like Lemonade on Postmates. Yeah. You know how hard it is to get a bill for one person to 125? I mean, it was getting like matcha and shit. <laughs> I didn't even enjoy, like, like wheatgrass shots. I, I mean, I was like, send it all. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, okay. So I, I look at money as energy now. So I don't look at money like when I'm ordering things and who knows, maybe this ends up with me in bankruptcy. I don't think it will though, but, um, cause there's a million ways to make money. And I think once you can like unleash that, you realize there's literally like a million things you could do. Yeah. But, um, I feel like when I order food, I just like, don't like, I used to worry about how much it costs. Now I just order mm -hmm. whatever I want. I know you order that way, right? Like you guys order like everything you would want to eat, right? Well, that, uh, that's Bobby's Bobby uh, way, that, yeah. but Bobby's way is a little funny. So he orders a lot more than, um, more than he can actually consume, right. but he doesn't. He used to not allow me to take leftovers, which what? was then gonna you that know, cause a yeah. fight. That's like, yeah. like I don't care battle. if we order a lot, but this is gonna sustain me right. for the whole week. But he's like, no, I spent the money. You don't get to take shit home. That's <laughs> so funny. Because his thing is, that is like, wild. yeah, it's somehow in his head. It's more of like a power trip. It's like if I pay for it, it's mm. my food. 
I'm just letting you eat it. What if he was like, you can have it, but I have to feed it to you? I mean, yeah. You actually would like that. Yeah, I would. I'm Are you kidding it. me? Him showing love? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll <God>. take it. <laughs> I also bought a Rolex. That was pretty irresponsible. I never wear what it. What kind? Just like the cheapest one. Mm. Oyster Perpetual. Remember uh, Louis' joke when he was like, when he lost like, I don't know, 50, what did he lose in one day? I don't remember what the joke was, but he lost an exorbitant amount of money in one day when all the canceling started happening. It was, I have three gold watches. Like, what was I thinking? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I don't, I hardly ever wear it because I don't want to wear it on stage because I don't want people to be like, oh, this fucking asshole. Then I don't want to wear it around town because then. Yeah, you don't want to get shot. I'm frail. And some yeah. guy goes, oh, nice watch. Mine now. Right. So now I just, I don't, but I just sit like, at home. He's like, put in a safety deposit. I don't know what to do with it. I'll probably end up just selling it back. But watches do hold their, their they value. They really yeah. do. I was going to say, they really, really do. I watch yeah. enough antiques. It's really stuff. like you'll go to like an event and wear it. Yeah. You know? Exactly. Because even on like a date, you feel like you're like, oh, let me just get the bill, taunt, taunt, and then you just <laughs> slam it on the table. That's actually an ick for me. Real oh. big fancy watches on <laughs> men. Um, oh, wow. But what if it's a really hot arm and hand? It, it doesn't matter. Um, real big fancy watches. If it's more of like, um, it's, it's like not, a slimmer one. It's slim. It, it's not too much. My, a watch I wore in college, that I don't know what it is about being like 22, but you'll wear a fucking, a Flava Flav watch yeah, on your yeah, wrist. Yeah, it yeah, is yeah. The, we all did that with the, the Michael Kors ones. Yeah. Oh, with yeah. the rose gold. Yeah. Like the bigger, the better, the heavier wrist. Not even like, that long I have, ago. Honestly. I have that bitch like wrist. It would like over see, overshadow my like wrist. Like it was in a, like it was so massive. Right, right. And for some reason I was like, women will like this. I could go back to a watch. I love watches, but I wear a lot of watch watches which also hold their value i i, I like it i just i don't know i never wear it yeah these are a little bit too um big for me the michael kors watches were i did sure, like the uh, big like boyfriend moment. one yeah yeah, yeah. which one's yeah. that it was just like a big like gold hangy watch yeah i think i still like it i don't know i don't even feel bust it out it wasn't that expensive. It's not. You can't rob me for it. I know because Todd's gonna propose to me, and I'm like, I want to. I want an expensive ring. But then I'm like, Do you know I want an expensive coming? ring? No, I have no clue. Okay. At first, I thought we established he might do it in Mexico, but Mexico's canceled. Mexico's so. canceled. What happened? And also, he told me he was gonna do it in Mexico. I was like, You now can't you do it. Can't. In Mexico. If you propose yeah. to a girl, Trevor, are you gonna kind of like drop some hints or is no. it like full blown surprise? Yes, I go surprise. Surprise. He yeah. told you? Maybe he's doing that to buy time. Well, he thought. He thought he was like. He was like, you know, maybe something fun's gonna happen in Mexico or whatever. Oh, like, I don't know what. Crazy. Maybe you want me to get my nails. Like what? I'm like, my anal nails beads. Are what are we done. talking here? Because yeah. girls really, there are some girls who really do care about. <laughs> but that. my nails are always done. You're right. And especially if I'm going to like a, like, hey, if my nails aren't like, I don't think it needs to be like. It honestly could be at Ralph's. Like, I don't care, but I would like there to be a. Surprise. How do you feel? It would be so refreshing if a girl just posted a picture of nails like mine. With I thought like, if a, a girl proposes, I can't deal with it. No, 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 not with if a girl proposes. proposes. Because, listen, I'm <laughs> happy for you. Here. The ladies that propose to the men and you guys are happy. I want you to live your best life. I am. I can't. I can't. How do you feel I, about Disneyland proposals? No. Mm. Well, I kind of don't like Disneyland, so it would be funny to do it to me. That oh, way. yeah. I, I think that's always funny if they're if because every you know you have this picture of what the beautiful wedding day looks like, but it if, is funny to be like, hey, there's a turkey leg. Yeah. Now I'm on one leg. Anybody, I love oh, you. yes. Here's if anyone big, were to do a public proposal, I would never marry him because he just doesn't know me at all. How do you feel about ones on stage? Yeah. Have you ever had that? Somebody. Oh. The first show I did on the last tour in New Orleans, somebody proposed to their 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 lady. And did she like it? Or was yeah, I mean, I don't know. I didn't it? talk to him. Was after, that what part of the show? At the end. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to like do that up top and then be like, Ooh, so, okay, uh, you're like, oh, traveling a lot. Like, oh, uh. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I I think public ones are interesting. Uh -huh. Yeah, I do too. It's like in, it, I mean, outdoors, if family is around, that's one thing. But like public ones, it's yeah. like you're. Ugh, so not that Todd is listening right now, but what is your perfect? Yeah, what's the perfect? What's a, well, what's I wanted him to propose How does it look to me. Like? What I thought I wanted was I wanted him to propose to me on my family vacation because I thought my nieces would like freak out. Wait, did you expect that in your, on your last family vacation? No, because I was on the phone with his mom and she was like, Todd, you did not get the ring. Oh, oh. oh. And I was like, yes, he, I'm sure he got it. And he's, she's like, no. Like, and I'm like, what, Todd? <laughs> How long has he been dating? Like a couple, little bit before the pandemic. So like three yeah. years? Yeah. Nice. But I mean, it's going to happen. It doesn't matter, but it's like, it really is up so to me. I want like? a huge, do I want a very expensive ring or not is really what's keeping us. 
I'm kind of over diamond. Are you? I think I might be over it. I wow, I this is great. This is great. Uh, every woman listening. Isn't it like nicer to do lab cut? Isn't it better for the environment? And yeah. like, yeah, you're getting a fucking but purity also, ring. It's like a little bit fucking basic. I'm not talking about cheap. But I've diamonds. never I'm still based, thinking I'm emerald basic. Sapphire. But there's like, but I this do like, I do <laughs> like a pear shaped solitaire diamond like a little fucking a big ass like little that's not i'm thinking but it's basic can you look up pear shaped yeah I'm, uh, I'm curious don't get too excited though trevor because what i want is might be more expensive are you guys gonna regular be diamond. together really yeah i'm, yeah, I'm taking like rubies sapphires. what if this just wait sapphires i heard sapphires uh very expensive wait I, can i pitch something yeah. somebody told me sapphires well esker has gone can yeah. we just have like a rotating guest and see if you vibe with them if we vibe is this a dating show it might be that it just <laughs> take. Well, I thought it was so I would I wouldn't have even gone there, but because I'm I like to respect people's relationships, but I'm like kind of excited about. <laughs> but not that you guys are or aren't. I'm just like excited about the prospects of. How being do you know we aren't already? Middle yenta. I feel like maybe there's a vibe. Yeah, she's not into rings. She's not wearing one today. Hey, hey chemistry. Kick it off. Kick it off. Yeah. We could also probably more. share a ring. I have such frail fingers. You could easily <laughs> like. You're doing that. This oh is you flirting because you're being self deprecating. Oh Whoa. yeah, you're telling me ahead of time. <laughs> like my time, I have like five of these in you just to finger you regular. <laughs> Help! Like, but with just a regular band, with just that's a regular a band. Oh, that's an almond. I know, like just like that. You like, th how, what is it's that rock? It's boring, but I like it, I don't know. Classic, classic. It looks I like it would boring. stab your classic. finger, no? I think also, Dude, I, my friend's like, you don't really want a big ring because it gets caught on your pants and stuff. No, I met a girl last weekend and she had a ring that had a knife that popped out of it. She's like, Ooh. it's LA. And I was like, it's kind of hot. I know? really want that. No, actually, like, yeah. it, the, the company that makes that sent it to in. me now at the company. Type it in. It's uh, like, a, it was like, a, I'm going to get ring, one of those. Ring with a knife in it. But it was like, it had a flat top. Then you click a little side and it fucking bing. Yep. Like, top left. Could it really stab? Okay. It's only, yeah. Well, it's only $8. So oh. uh, you probably won't. I want a better one. Yeah, I don't know, but but it. I mean, it'd be great for like shotgunning a beer, I think. Yes. But but or yeah, like poisoning somebody. Look at that. I like the four hundred dollar one. Look at that one, the gold one that pops up. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good one. But I had no idea. I love. That. But she's like, you want to see some cool thing? I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> <You're> like, Ow! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the tiniest, like yeah. you're bleeding out the tiniest bit. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine she's jerking you off, and then the, the oh my god goes on the inside <laughs> of the. Oh my god! As I, I said, you can come uncircumcised. But I would you're come hard. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that was a thing though. Oh, it's, it's that one right there. Sometimes it's a joke instead of a- 66 cents? What the <laughs> fuck is going on? Sometimes if you were defending yourself with 66 cents, you just throw a quarter at him instead. Sometimes yeah. instead of a cock ring, I use um, those things for um, cigars, the chop the tip <laughs> off. Is that bad? It, is that bad? It's kind of arousing actually. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know it was a thing. Wait, I love, wait, is this, no, I'm not going to say that to two recently single people, but you're probably happy to be single. What? I was just going to say, I love like having my person and not having to date. No, I I, oh, I, yeah, I, I definitely no. get lonely at times. I definitely miss But that. that's not what I mean. Like, I don't, I wasn't meaning to like say that to you guys, but I was like. You're just flexing? <laughs> yes, I'm never the one. Like, I just, it's so great having like somebody to abusive, hold me. No, I'm usually in an abusive relationship. Like, I'm usually like watching, like when I saw Stars Born, I was like weird. I was like, I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> This feels real, like oh, um, no! You found your person. I found my. You guys guy. are always together, and you guys are always like, like I fun. pictured you guys together. Yes, fucking. Mm. <laughs> there was a big pause, fun. and I was like, "Did this just get weird?" <laughs> no, it didn't get weird, but but no. you know, you're right. There are people or couples that I look at. I'm like, I just cannot picture them fucking. And, and you can picture us. Oh, fucking. totally. We yeah, we have we have our signature move, which is. Everyone's heard it so much, but why not say Does it, it also involve Every, a banana? Guest, each guest gets to hear it. Um, the hospital bed where we, we bring the hospital. I sit on the edge of the hospital bed and then he like zzz me up. I have you, a hospital bed, yeah. Really? <laughs> yes. Oh, you know what I have in my house? Right so there's isn't cramp. He can yeah, just tell me like, what you have. No, I, oh shit, hold up. <laughs> yeah. I have the, the I'm okay. leasing my place right now and his parents used to visit a lot. So he has an electric chair that goes up the stairs oh my god that's ne awesome never done sexual activities on it yet i need a life <laughs> alert or something but yeah it, he's so slow like the girls like up there like with their mouth open it's, it's like uh, yeah it's too slow to make it sexual it's <laughs> it's yeah it's not good for that but it's just funny it just goes up the stairs I love yep, those. Yep, yep, yep. One of those. That's chairs. awesome. So I still have one of those, and uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's actually most people have like a cool like, like painting. Like, people have like a Esther cool. Esther would be so house. jealous. No, it's like that's the centerpiece. <laughs> people walk in and they go like, "Fuck that couch you spent two thousand dollars on. What is that over there?" One year for my birthday. Yep, there it is. I think I was turning thirty <laughs> or something. It was one of those birthdays where people are like, "You're afraid you're getting old," 
my friend got me like uh, one of those portable like toilets that oh, old people have. No. And it was really, and then I opened it and it, she had drawn a doo doo and it said like, you're the shit or something. It was really good. Wait, it was a really good camping present. ones? That's cute. No, no, no. It's like an old, that. you get them. It's, like, it's, like, it's like a walker with, yes, a, with, with a, toilet a toilet in it. And I peed. Uh, I did. No flush, it. just yeah. bowl. Yeah. You got to have a cleaner. Todd would clean it for me. He's a good boy. That's real. He's a good boy. Wow. Would you say you're the dominant one in the relationship? Yes, yes. yes. Does he know this? <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. But he's still a man. He's my man. There still. we go. I like that. Yeah. It works. <laughs> I love him. So it was one of these? Mm hmm. Yeah, that's <laughs> that interesting. You Like, why does it look like the two legs are to the side? <laughs> it's like, is it nervous? He's like, look at my butthole. <laughs> It's but like what Stella did to her. It's how Stella was like, look, look at my <laughs> But I it is. You, called you have bedside to, commodes. But you have to clean it out, which, uh, yeah. you know, it defeats a purpose. Because you're yeah. still sitting in it, and then you're still wheeling around the house. <laughs> 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 it's just grandma shit storm is just going through the hallways. <laughs> Somebody clean my ass. <laughs> at what point did you just stop wiping your own ass? Mm. As soon as you don't have to. As soon as you don't have to. That's also true. No, I if I was Joe to... Rogan and I had that much money, <laughs> you bet your ass. Like, oh, when am I going to reach back there? I'm always like to Joe, I'm like, when I'm rich, I'm going to have like this person do this. And he's like, no, he, he's always like, you want to keep your circle small. I'm like, you want to keep your circle yeah, small. What right? is one thing that if you had all just fuck you money that you would splurge on? Oh, wow. Like, an, like for instance, like an ass wiper, someone who just oh, oh, like, around, yeah, like a that. real splurge. I want a living bidet. I want it to be a small Frenchman <laughs> that used to be a jockey. <laughs> yeah. I want to give up. I want to give a jockey who's out of work a job. You come be my bidet. You stay in that toilet. You look my asshole clean. Go ahead. I just want somebody to be a, a, a second pair of hands for me. I think the human body needs to evolve. We still have two hands. This is fucking boring. Give me a fourth, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so I would have somebody. <laughs> probably you topless that we cleared yeah i'm horned up but i would have somebody <laughs> like crack their rib maybe <laughs> no just like i want like like there's times when i'm like carrying too much shit in from the house and then i also have like a coffee and i'm like i don't then I'm like bouncing it on my neck yeah uh that's a living shadow but you don't want another person there you just want right i just want their hands yeah but like uh, hot hands so when i look down i see like manny like patty and i go oh fuck and then yeah, when you're yeah, jerking yeah. off it's like cute. yeah when i'm jerking off i can still be on a zoom call like <laughs> hey how you guys doing yeah <laughs> You know, I, I think another pair of like hot, like white French tip nails, like Coming on my sides. Yes. Yeah, because then when I don't want it to be seen, I can just tuck them in like a large teeth. I love a French tip. You. I love a hug French me. Tip yes, I need those lately. I could just hug you when you don't want it. Oh. To I'm alone. Yeah. Um, Does I Blau ever hug you? Yeah, but he's pretty frail too. So yeah. it's like bone on bone. That hug. is cute. You guys are. He's a he's great. I love him. He helps me a lot. Yeah. You know, I I really, no. really didn't <laughs> want to say this out loud. <laughs> I've been trying to not say this out loud since the first day I met you, <gasps> but you really look like uh, my dead stepbrother that I had sex with. <laughs> you you're know? in, dude. You're <laughs> in. What in the Pornhub title did you just you say? You just me? won the award. There you Wait, go. Wait, you, you fucked your step, bro? <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, yeah. certain things we have to tell people when they come on the show. Before, before um, my mom story. and him actually, uh, my, my mom and stepdad too, dated. Yeah. I was, uh, I was. Wait, so how did this happen? Because I had a friend do this. I had a friend date this girl back in high school. He, they were both dating, and then their parents started hooking up. Then their parents got married, and then because of that, they're like, "Well, I don't think we should fuck anymore." Right, that's exactly what happened. So it got <laughs> weird. But and what, I hate to say it, but like, ah, uh, because he was my stepbrother after, but he had a really perfect penis. <laughs> That's a lot to live up to. <laughs> Why you look how because it's just funny because you're like oh and you're literally living the point where you're like oh no step bro your perfect penis yeah <laughs> these comments are gonna be interesting hello YouTube one Hi. time she was telling me about a guy who would reach into her room and punch her in the face I've never <laughs> laughed harder in my life like you would have thought it was like what full setup punchline like that's how we handle our, yeah. our traumas and you were just that close to the door or there was like <laughs> a glory head hole or was facing in my bedroom my head would face the window and he climbed through my window and he one morning i guess i didn't text him back in time and he just came and cracked the she window deserved and just, like it. punched me down so while i was like like I was a a fucking like sock and bop and robot. What is he? <laughs> yeah. He just he uh, bop. <laughs> you're like, I'm not gonna text you back now. Or you're, or like, you're like, oh, he's so hot. <laughs> he punched me away. You should have been with another dude. And then the dude catches the fist and is like, "What's up?" That's right. <laughs> you need a jump. Damn. She needed. When was when was the whole stepbrother fiasco? When was this? High oh, so this wasn't even like a porn category yet. Mm -mm. Damn. It's very and super confusing. Because imagine when your stepdad or your mom actually starts dating. 
um you're you know but can't you be like i got dibs first on this family no this is your stepdad now he's still my stepdad oh, yeah. now and he was my high school history teacher so they met during like back to school night my mom and him did you That's guys pretty much odd. brought them together yeah yeah and but then his son and i were friends so we were like oh yeah you should meet someone and it's just this violent. is like the movie mr nobody What's with that? jared leto i've never seen one of jared leto's best movies i haven't you seen see it, it? Mr. Nobody, everybody check it out. I've seen the cover of it. <coughs> it's like parallel lives that he lived, and one of the lives he was a step is in love with uh, his stepsister. Yeah, I mean it really is sort of like wow. they were like into each other, and then their parents started dating, and then they like were like Ugh. then they had to like break up. But basically, it's like I got the ick right as soon as my mom and my stepdad got together. Mm -hmm. I got the ick, but then he didn't. So like there was a period there where it was like weird, and he was like real sad about it. But I'm like no, like yeah. And then you'd over. still see each other at like family events or no? I went to college and I didn't see him again for like two years, and then he ended up um ah. Uh. Well, I mean, I get friend broken up with, so I understand. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, same boat. Same but you boat. know what the friend breakup things that I was going to say is, this is what I don't like. I don't like when no one will just tell you what's happening. Like they, they'll they break up with you. I guess this happens in relationships too. But I had one friend who was like, this was a guy. And he was like, I heard you talking shit on me. And I went, what? And he goes, I can't tell you. And I go, well, what is it? And then he goes, we're done. And I'm like, no, 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 but what was I talking I shit I think they about? say that because they want you to say. Something. Right, so I'll be like, well, did I say you were fat? Yeah. Yeah, or like. The, the bit, that's so but I was like, I don't know what, because I don't, if I'm, if I was talking shit on him, it wasn't anything I made up. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, what real. honest thing it's did also I say? For a guy to, to be like, I heard you were talking shit. Yeah. Like, what happened to people just ghost? If you can ghost somebody in a relationship, just ghost a friend. Yes, ghost Like, a oh, friendship. she said something fucked up. But Peace. it was fine. It was all good. I didn't care that much, but it was just, I just was like annoyed by that. Cause it was that thing I was thinking about like, what if I was like, oh, I called you, you know, like I just like something that I, that he never knew I said. And then he was like, if I tell you what you said, then you're going to go to the person that told me mad at them. And I was like, what? Oh was, when was this? This It was been. recently and he was what? 50 years old. He was a 50 year old man. 50. Oh, that's hilarious. Isn't that so weird? That's hilarious. But it's okay. That's, like worry that's, about your arthritis. What are you my talking mom about? mom would say pathetic. But that thick. But that. But I have recently realized I don't care anymore. Like if people are mad at me about something and they don't want to tell me what it is. Yeah. That's a you thing, not yep. a me. You just go on with Bye. your life. You keep living how you live. I don't care. Yeah, you can't care, guys. Guys. Really, friend breakups are not. You don't have to announce yourself. Let's put an end to that. Yeah. Just ghost. If you want somebody in your life, you'd let them know. But also, you can announce, but just say what the actual thing is. You don't have to be like cryptic about it. Yeah, I mean, I've taken like breaks from people where they're like, hey, like, why aren't we, you know, like, I feel like I'm, it's just more one sided. And I'm like, you know what? It's just um, a lot of essays from you. I'm just not maybe emotionally available. I don't have the bandwidth to kind of like be yeah. with you at the moment. I hope you can understand like stuff like that, but never like a, a lot of yeah. buzzwords right there. So it's two of my <laughs> two of my friend breakups were like, oh, I heard what you said. I'm like, what? What did I say? But are these like you don't tell? I'm like, are these like people you know from like Philly or like people? No, in these LA? are like newer LA friends. Oh, uh, yeah. where I'm just like, okay, who cares? I, I don't know. It's just funny to be 50 and like, be like send me you the hurt clip. my feelings. If I talk to you, it was probably publicly. So send me the clip. <laughs> yeah, let me post it. Must I probably fucked you up that bad? Think how good it'd do on TikTok. You know, tag get me. the numbers up. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Trevor. Thank you guys this for was having fun. me. Fun. Did time. you get through all your notes? Oh, this is a set list from the other night. <laughs> uh, but no, I didn't. I'll, I'll go through them right now. Edit it out. <laughs> Edit it out. He's off the cuff. He doesn't have a set list. Uh, no set list. Yeah, I talked about everything I wanted to on here. Um, thanks for having me. It's been is awesome. There anything you want to plug, promote? I'm on tour right now. I'm going to be in a bunch of cities from California to Florida, all of them. Uh, TrevorWallsComedy.com. Get some tickets. You guys do it now. And Stiff Socks. Stiff Socks, my podcast. Yeah. We'd love to have you on. Um, yeah, every Wednesday. Awesome. Stiff Socks. We'll Check see you guys out. next week. Thank you. Bye, guys. I've been Esther. Bye.